Chad Leonard. And I'm Megan Bradley. She hosts this with me. I do! <laughs> and it makes me so gleeful. It makes me gleeful. Aww. It's nice to be together again. It and is. today, we're going to talk about being healthy and yes. eating all the right things. Yes, so we this, are, Megan. How do you this, feel about this that? This may not be my best <laughs> moment. I'm not going to lie. I'm going <laughs> to. But you never know because through adversity mm -hmm. comes non adversity. Sure. Okay. What do you mean? Well, with that, I mean that sometimes challenges make you better. Oh, sometimes okay. going down a different road that I is like freaky and scary I like it. makes you learn things about yourself and, I and about those let freaky an things. And avocado freak me out that much. No, really. because at the end of the day, they're totally small and mushable, yeah. so you I can totally take it. Super. We have the right guests today, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. To tell us, to tell us to take that challenge. Welcome, Michelle Judah from Rooted in Thank Nutrition. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to tell us about rooted in nutrition what does that mean to you and when tell us a little bit about what you do how I started yeah it started as a logo first I love food I was always cooking I took cooking classes my whole life and uh, I grew up in the kitchen basically with all my grandmothers and how, wait, how many grandmothers did you three, have three great and oh. two oh, fantastic. yeah wow. it was wonderful so cool. I got a long lineage of different cultural cooking and I decided to go back to school later in life because I love food. Somebody plopped the uh, course curriculum on my desk one day, and I, that was it. It changed my life. I went like back. Like a nutrition course? Yeah, or? the nutrition okay. booklet. Oh. Mm -hmm. So what was your eating like? Probably similar to mine <laughs> if you were in school. What was your eating oh. like before you took the nutrition course? What were the it, before and afters, in a way, of, of what you, what you mm -hmm. without understanding what it all meant to you, and then after learning about it? It wasn't too bad, because I okay. always made everything from scratch. Okay. But even though I thought I was eating really healthy, I changed quite a few things. So number one being white processed products, okay. so sugars, flours, mm -hmm. breads. I love bread. Um, so all the I delicious things? All the delicious things yeah. with butter, yeah. And even butter, I was eating maybe not the good butter, so I switched over to grass-fed butter, which makes a huge difference. Okay. I did stop dairy products, okay. um, but I do eat the, the occasional yogurt. Okay. So they were the main things. And the other main thing was cutting meat down. All right. So as opposed to every night, a couple nights a week. Oh, How okay. much of it is really individual, though? Because you hear some people saying, oh, I cut out mm -hmm. dairy, some people, oh, I can't. And, and particularly with meat, some people are, are have very adverse reactions to not having um, meat in there to mm -hmm. not having meat to, to mm -hmm. not having mm -hmm. meat like energy wise and is that yeah. a case of they're just not getting the proper nutrients from plant sources definitely and, and, but in how individual is it to everybody we, I mean we've all got yeah, our own that's sensitivities a good point. you read those books about uh, according to your blood type or um, I personally suffer from anemia so mm -hmm. maybe taking red meat out of my diet wouldn't make sense so yeah mm -hmm. that is an interesting point um, it worked for you but it may be different right? for some right so protein goes yeah. by body weight typically, okay. and then the type of exercise you do during the day. So oh, okay. somebody who's more sedentary would only need the formula is 0.8 grams per kilogram. And oh, then okay. if you exercise more, endurance athlete, you might need up to 1.4 to 1.7. And definitely there oh, yeah. is enough protein in plant-based foods. For example, hemp seeds are the best and pumpkin seeds, and okay. they have a very close amino acid profile to a meat. Oh. Not necessarily a red meat, but yes. you know, just meat in general. Do you still need something else to go along with them to, mm. to get the full, complete um, amino acid set that you need? Well, if you or are not a combined. vegan, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't believe in any specific diet. Like, I don't yeah. think the vegan diet you need to stick exactly to those guidelines of being a vegan or a vegetarian. Yeah. A lot of vegetarians, um, and even my clients that I that become vegetarian, I still tell them maybe once or twice a year, three times a year go crazy and eat some meat or bone broth is fantastic. Yeah. Yes, well particularly I have a Hashimoto's disease which is a mm. hypothyroid mm -hmm. condition and they say bone broth is so good for that. It oh. is the best. Yeah, it's got so many nutrients mm -hmm. in it. Huh. And then you can also take supplements. So if you don't eat meat, B12 is one that yes. you would not get unless you eat fermented items, like fermented cabbage, okay. which is delicious, not for everybody. Does beer, is beer included in that? Oh, I, yeah, <laughs> there's a little bit. There's is it really? <laughs> Wait, is beer a probiotic, though? Well, it's or fermented. Any oh. alcohol Ooh. is fermented. Nice, I like mm -hmm. where this is going. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm, 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 in, I'm in. I think nutrition <laughs> could be for us. Cheers to that. No, <laughs> no we're kidding all aside, though. Mm -hmm. So let's say um, somebody comes to you and maybe they haven't been having such healthy ways. Where do you start? Where's the first conversation? It is hard because yeah. you. I do a really um, in-depth intake form. I do a weekly diet 
sheet, which oh, okay. not everybody likes to fill out so perfectly you gotta be, honest. You got to get real with yourself. Oh, 100%. That's and it. then if you are, the faster we can get into a program and the easier it is really, because okay. if I see exactly what you like, I can always switch it up to an item that maybe tastes like it or gives you the same oh, satiation, okay. satiation feeling. Yes. And, and then it's easier to get through your day. And protein has a lot to do with that though. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's yeah. Well, when you eat protein, your body feels fulfilled, so it's always good oh, to eat I protein with every meal. Okay. And lots of times, if you are changing your diet, you're not thinking about food if your stomach isn't growling yes. and telling you, I want to eat. Okay. Cravings are a little bit different, though. And what about um, fiber? You hear all about yeah, fiber. Fiber That's is so, so important. important, too. So the combination, and like you had that formula before for how much protein that you eat. Is there sort of formulas for all of us in terms of body weight and the amount of nutrition that we need? And is, is, this, is it a formula? Um, fiber, I just say eat a lot all the time. <laughs> Go as for much it. As, you can. as much as you can. Okay. I mean, really, because we don't eat a lot of fiber. So okay. fiber would be... You can't be, overdo it. You can, I don't think you could overdo it. I mean, a vegetarian would be okay. eating fiber all day long. Oh, interesting. So yeah. definitely you can't overdo it. And the fiber is what takes all the bad stuff out of your body. So yeah. it really is your It's like your a friend. sloughing out kind definitely. of a, it's like a of big a thing. Rush. So I know you like to do mm -hmm. the juicing thing. Um, what is, because you hear all the time, there's sort of, you've got your producers, because they're like juice, juice, juice. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your people that say, no, you've got to eat, you've got to actually eat the fruit or vegetable. Is it a combination of both, Michelle, or how would you best like how, talk to that? Oh, definitely a combination. Yes. Like if it's long term, I think juicing is really for people who, well, it, that don't get a lot of greens, or you can sort of hide them okay. in the juice. Mm. And people who are ill, they can't always, you know, palate certain foods yes. if they're undergoing cancer treatment, especially pre or post. Good point. And then healing your body and your immune system, like juicing is fantastic for that. Okay. Because you're getting a lot of bioavailable ingredients, nutrients and vitamins immediately, and it's digested much easier than if you're chewing. And what's the difference if, because <coughs> some people like doing smoothies, some people like doing juices what's the difference there is the, I know the big question because yeah. a lot of there is a lot of negative connotations for juicing okay. and definitely you shouldn't juice all the time like it's nice yeah. as a supplement to a meal sure. or once a day like one glass a day but the difference between smoothies and juices really is the fiber okay. and smoothies you're getting everything in the cup where okay. a juice would be cold pressed you're just getting the nutrients the vitamins and nutrients with the liquid that's in the fruits or vegetables. So oh. the benefit to, to juicing then is that you can just jam pack so many items in there. Definitely. And you take out the fiber um, and so you can jam pack again more like of the nutrients. Is that, is that okay? Definitely. So that's you still get some fiber but it's based on the machine like right. you okay. asked about some machine. So certain machines will keep higher amounts of fiber, some will not. Oh, and then some machines heat up the vegetables Oh. And what's the benefit or of not heating is yeah. keeping the enzymes intact. So that's okay. really what you want. So you but don't want you don't want to heat that. You don't want to heat, and okay. you want to drink it. I mean, it's obviously best right away. But yes. some people, if you buy juice from a juice somebody who has a juicing company, yes. then you would want to drink it within three days. But it's good for up to seven. Oh. Obviously, the Why sooner is that? the better. Is it just the enzymes? Yeah, the enzymes dilute, dilute. They go bad. Okay. They, they disappear. So, because I know, um, we, he, Kat's always making fun of me because I'm always, always I, yeah, because there's a lot. There's just a lot to work with, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> it's totally fair. Um, but I'm that peanut butter sandwich on the run girl. Mm -hmm. I'm that person. Mm -hmm. I'm that person who's running out the door, coffee in hand, peanut butter sandwich on the go. So, instead of that peanut butter sandwich, what could I, what could I do in the next morning that would... That's not that a peanut butter sandwich isn't the worst thing in the world, but what could I do that next morning that would be just as convenient for me and I can run out the door in the morning? Well, what advice would you give me? Well, I think a nut milk because you're okay. getting tons of protein, tons of minerals and okay. vitamins, and an apple, like so fruits with a nut or okay. uh, nut butter. All right. Like you can dip that and minus the bread. So easy. Yeah. Very easy. Like, or you can, you don't have to even cut it up. Pears, apples are really good with nut butter. Okay. Bananas are really good. So then, so for someone like me who likes my carbohydrate and likes my breads in the morning, mm -hmm. as a lot of us do, I think we. Do you like the sensation of holding it in your hand as well? Like it's a finger food mm. or is that not so much? That's a really good thought. No, I think I just feel the okay. need to get something mm -hmm. in me mm -hmm. and get on the way. Mm -hmm. So that's why for me, if I was to blend, I don't think I would mind that as long as I knew I was getting something that would at least give me 
energy to go. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a really good point. Some people like the feeling of actually. I love it. And like mm -hmm. the crunchy. And the crunching. Exactly. So Chewing that's where is important come. too. Yeah. That's where nuts come in, right? Exactly. And the nut milks. I love that. And what about protein powders and things like that? A lot of people are into protein mm -hmm. powders. I don't, um, I don't ever tell people to take a whey-based protein powder, a casein-based protein powder. I know a lot of people who do a lot of heavy bodybuilding, yes. you know, that's a little different bit different. Story, yeah. They may need certain exact amounts of items in their day. Okay. But for most people, I would just say you don't, most people don't need extra protein. They actually eat enough, believe it or not. Really? Almost every single client that I've had, they think they're not getting enough protein. And then when they do, when I calculate out yeah. their weekly diet chart, they're getting way more than enough protein. Oh, isn't that interesting? Veggies have protein in they them, They do. Right? Which is okay. something that you don't always That's right. Think. So minimal amounts, definitely in vegetables, but mm -hmm. seeds and nuts have high amounts, like cashew, okay. one cup of cashew milk has 10 grams of protein. Oh, wow. Lentils, beans, 17, 18 for one cup. Oh, my goodness. And if you're 50 kilos, you know, times 0.8, if it's a kind of a sedentary day, you're yes. working at the desk, that's really not a lot of protein that you need. One mm. chicken breast is 56. Oh, wow. You know, so in comparison, that's more, one portion of a chicken breast would be more than you would even need for the whole entire day. Interesting. I know. Because I always, yeah, I always feel like I need more protein and uh, certainly more vegetables. What about the, where do you stand on fruit? Some people say, oh, too much fruit, mm -hmm. too much sugar. Other people say, it's still good for you. It's, you know, it's, it's Earth's gift to us. Eat it up. Like, where do you stand on that? Well, f I treat fruits like a dessert. So, yeah. okay. um, but I eat them before a meal, but oh, that's because right. of the fermenting in yes. your stomach. So oh, okay. I th fruits don't always have to be eaten alone, but it's best if they're eaten alone. Okay. Definitely in a smoothie, you can mix them with vegetables, okay. but fruits since the 1900s have 300% more sugar. We eat, I think kids nowadays eat 75 grams of sugar over the course of the year in North America, wow. where in the 1900s, they were only eating 15 grams. So oh we do consume a lot of fruits, and it's also in juice form. Yes. It's in other forms, desserts, cake. Oh, everything. Yeah. So we're eating more of it because we're just eating more of it. Not, Correct. Not that they're becoming more concentrated in sugar. There, there, is, there is a little more sugar in the fruit plants nowadays also. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. So it's just a double-edged sword. So yeah. I usually say three to five fruits a day. It's okay. best to eat them in the morning because then your insulin is more regulated or okay. it spikes in the morning. So eat it with protein or something else afterwards, an oatmeal or granola is fantastic to eat after fruit. Oh, fantastic. Great. So as your I'm client, we <coughs> would come, you would not only help us out with our plans, but you would get, help us with quantities and also timing, when to eat, what to eat. It is important timing. Interesting, there's a lot to mm -hmm. consider. There is a lot to consider. Mm -hmm. And I want to get to <laughs> juicing something. Will you show us how to do something? Yes. Oh, of course. Yeah. Excellent. The fun part, the fun part. Yeah. Guys, Let's we're going to juice. juice. We're going to take a break and prep ourselves. We're going to get you excited and uh, <laughs> we'll be back soon. She did say beer though. She I said know. beer. Oh, <laughs> oh, we can't juice the beer. Maybe there will be beer in there. <laughs>